Okay, I'm coming to you today to show you my candle collection. I built this wall. I had stuff on the top, another row, but the wall started going backwards. So I had to stop right here. I got some more in the back. Let me get it, bring in a little closer. Okay, so this is where she all started. It all started with wild berry jam donut and blueberry pancakes. And then from there, your girl just went nuts. And now I have all these candles. Let me go ahead and take you through each one of them. I'm not going to go through the notes, <laughs> but I'll tell you my opinion somewhat as we go along. Wild Berry Jam Donut, absolutely one of my favorite candles. My uncle was a cop. He would have loved it. He loved his donuts. <laughs> Blueberry pancakes, absolutely love it. Can't wait to get a new one. I'm kind of holding on to her now, but she, she's gone fast. Buttered sal uh, Salted butterscotch. Um, when my burn experience on this one... It's sometimes you can really smell it, and then other times I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know what ha I have it on, so that's a little weird. Toasted coconut, as long as I had that one sitting next to me, <laughs> I was good. It, but the throw on, it's just not there. And I've learned that most of the coconuts um, are since just don't have much of a throw. So, speaking of Candles that don't have no throw. <laughs> we'll get to him in a minute. The next one, I believe, is salted pretzel milkshake. Unfortunately, I don't have it turned in the right direction. I got that one on sale. I believe he might have been... I might have got him for six, but he probably was ten. Back in the summer, SAS. I got uh, peach bellini. That one's oh, just okay. Um, I believe this one, oh my gosh, I've done a bad job at this. I'm so sorry, <laughs> but unfortunately I can't do this again. Um, Ocean Driftwood, that's what he is. That one's just okay. And, and you'll learn that I am a huge gourmand scent. So anyway, moving right along, pumpkin cupcake. That one surprised me. I really like it. I don't get the pumpkin in it, but I don't get a pumpkin from a lot of these. So maybe it's just me. Blackberry and basil, that one's fine. It's a nice summer suit, uh, scent. Passion fruit banana for flower, I don't get much of a scent on that one. Again, that was an SAS sale. I think I got that one for six bucks, so I was happy. Lemon lavender shortbread, everybody raved on this. I, mine just didn't have much of a throw. I was expecting a whole lot more and was sorely disappointed. Pineapple pound cake. Man, I could smell this on the ride home. It was smells great on cold, but it throw is just not there. Unlike the next one, caramel pumpkin swirl. I love, love, love this candle. It's one of my favorite. Uh, caramel scents are the best, <laughs> especially with Bath and Body Works. Banana walnut muffin. That one will absolutely throw you out of the house. That's a very strong one. We really like that. But it's it, I can't put it in my bedroom. My bedroom's uh it's not this it's not very large, but it, it's too much for a small room. Watermelon lemonade. I get no smell from that. Dud. But he was 6 bucks, so. Oh, white caramel cold brew. I really like that. Um don't know if I would repurchase it. If it had a stronger throw, I would probably more be more into it. I prefer brown sugar latte better than that. Toasted vanilla chai. Nah, don't get much from that one. White pumpkin. That was free with purchase. So I love that one. <laughs> uh, the next two are the perfect autumn and harvest gathering. I like them both. They're great fall scents. Um, I would probably just purchase one rather than the both of them. The notes are just, just a tad off. The next one is leaves. I like it. It's, it doesn't smell like food, so it's not my favorite. <laughs> Fresh spring morning. That was another one I got on sale. 
Of course, bourbon maple. I like that a lot. Uh, sweet kettle corn. Haven't burned that one yet. I don't know why I'm still holding on to it. I'm waiting for that special day. And then we've got fairy tale. I love fairy tale. Love the packaging on it. That candle's pretty good in a smaller room. Uh, fall festival surprised me. The one thing I have to say about fall festival, I wish they would have put more of like a carnival scene on the packaging. But it's almond butter, and it really does have a great scent. I wasn't going to get it, and then Bonnie talked me into it, and now I love it. So there's that. <laughs> Mango Mai Tai, I think I got him at a cheap rate, too, at the SAS last summer. He's okay, not much of a throw. The next three here, Champagne Toast, Harvest Linen, and Caramel Brulee Latte. Caramel Brulee Latte is... In my definite top five. Haven't done Harvest Linen yet. I'm just waiting. Champagne Toast, of course, is always a favorite. And Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Yay! This is my second one. I got that one at the Winter SAS sale. And I have two. Oops. Oh, okay. I think I bought one for a present. And that's why there's two there. Uh this one, I believe, is apple gathering. I wish I would have paid attention when I did this. Of course, I did it in the dark. I'm not very smart sometimes. Um, I get tired of the apple scent, so I got another fairy tale. Sugar Cherry Crisp. I have an old lotion that really smells good. The candles, I was hoping the candle would be closer to it, but it wasn't. Eh, it's not my favorite. But I don't, I don't dislike it. Hot cocoa and cream. This worked better in a small room. The throw was not as good as I hoped it to be. Certainly not as good as dark chocolate truffles, which is no longer for sale. It looks like they sold out, guys. I only got one. I'm bummed. Uh, caramel, cinnamon caramel swirl. I like anything caramel. I love that candle. It's a great one. Frosted Cranberry, um, that was just okay, but the fox was too cute. I had to have him. Christmas Cider, what's that little raccoon doing? Or it was a squirrel. That poor little squirrel just just scared Tina Marie something awful. <laughs> I love me some Tina Marie. I got to watch her every morning or I get upset. Frosted Coconut Snowball, absolutely no smell, but I couldn't take the package back. Um, I, I got wax on that one. I drained it off to see, put, make a little wax melt off of it. Yeah, still no smell. Salty caramel eggnog. I absolutely love that candle. It is very similar to Summer Boardwalk, which is on the other side. Uh, love. Yeah, yeah, you can't see it. <laughs> that is pretty close to champagne toast. It's okay. Um, I don't think it was really a Christmas scent. They should have held that one out till Valentine's Day. But that's my opinion. Peppermint hot chocolate. Love, love, love. I should have got a second one, but I didn't. I'm hoping maybe I can pick one up during the summer SAS. But if not, there's next year. Brown sugar latte. Keisha talked me into it, and I'm so glad she did. I absolutely love it. It's a little more sugary, creamier than Paris Cafe. Cookies with Santa. This is my husband's favorite. We had to go back and buy a backup on that during Candle Day. Merry Cookie. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Everybody thinks this is a great candle. I smell absolutely nothing. I went ahead... Um, after Candle Day, they came out with the second packaging in it. I said, well, I'm going to give it another try just in case I got a dud. And same. So I took that back and I exchanged it. So I do like their exchange program. It keeps me going. Otherwise, I don't know if I'd be buying these still. Anyway, moving on. Joy Sugared Snickerdoodle. I love it. It's kind of close to Cookies with Santa, but it's a nice one to have in the collection. 
the wild berry jam donut in the second package and yes i do not think it is good as this one that keisha had said before so i'm in grants with that but i got mine for six bucks they couldn't get mad <laughs> Then Black Cherry Below, um, I've already went through one, so he is not on film, but I absolutely, that's one of my favorite scents, and unfortunately, I haven't been able to get the body care. I've got the spray, but it looks like it was discontinued as soon as I got into the Bath and Body Works scene. Anyway, Caramel Drizzle. I love my caramel. This is the only candle in this packaging in that plaid collection that had any throw whatsoever. I was very disappointed with those candles in that packaging, and I took the majority of them back. Peppermint marshmallow. Oh, it just wasn't as all that I had hoped it would be. It gave hope, but it just didn't quite throw very well. Certainly not as good as the peppermint sugar cookie and the peppermint hot chocolate. Those are much better scents. By the way, that is the second peppermint sugar cookie. Haven't burned it yet, but I loved it so much I bought another one. I do think it pays to go into the store and sniff them because I can tell in the store some have a better output than others. Blueberry sugar, as you can tell, I love that candle. That's already halfway gone. And then Miss Adrienne talked me into ice cranberry scone. And I'm so glad she did. I absolutely love it. And I had to get one for the at Christmas to smell like a Christmas tree. So I got under the Christmas tree. And it does very much smell like Christmas. You know, it's funny. When I purchased my entertainment center... For a long time, I did not know what to do with these extra shelves. And let me tell you something. All the candles. Oh, my gosh. I need to clean that one. That's kind of what I'm doing. But anyway, these shelves go deep back here. And they fit all these candles. I could fit just about all of them between this shelf and the other shelf. But moving right along, here's the rest of them. I have Summer board or Berry Waffle Cone. I love that candle. It smells like Fruity Pebbles. Spice Cardamom. Pink Fairy Gumdrop. Oh, Spice Cardamom smells like a hippie. <laughs> I don't need to say anything else. Uh, I'm thinking of Cartman. Anyways, Pink Fairy Gumdrop. I think he should have been a summer scent. Uh, summer Boardwalk. Absolutely love him. And Adrian also talked me into Mary Maple Pancakes, but you didn't have to talk me into it that hard. I was ready to get that. I got Island Margarita. I'm not in love with it, but I need to give it another chance. I've only burned that once. You're the one. I absolutely love that candle, but it's more of a rose scent, so it's going to my mother. She's going to like that. Banana bunt cake, not much of a throw. Pineapple passion fruit, not much of a throw. Orange pineapple punch, I haven't burned it yet. I'm still on the fence whether to take it back or not. If you're still with me, let me know what you think if you've got this. Gingerbread marshmallow in my top ten, along with twisted peppermint. They love that one. Who's back here? Oh, Positively Sweet. I think this is my top favorite candle out of all of my candles. Smells like a box of chocolate. Absolutely love it. I'm mad I didn't get a backup. Sugar Pecan Pie. I got that one on SAS for six bucks. I love it. I'm absolutely glad I got it. And the last one I got for now is Ice Blueberry Biscotti. Gorgeous jar. So, yeah. All right, I'm Annie Listers. I hope you have enjoyed it. <laughs> I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.